Introducing Bozo, the world's most famous clown. Oh, Billy! I'm such a funny clown. I like to travel round and round the circus. This is my home. I always seem to roam. In the rocket ship I soar. I explore the ocean floor, but you must know I'll never go unless you come along. Bozo, Bozo, always last, never frown. Bozo, 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 the clown. Well, howdy, boys and girls, it's good seeing you here. How do you like my special uh, trike? Wowee, yikes, it's a beautiful Bozo trike. And it's good meeting all the pals here in the circus today, because we got so many things planned for you. Kooky Kangaroo is going to be here. My pal, Professor Tootin' Foofin', I mean Tweety Fooper is going to stop by, and he's all kinds of fun. Flip Flop should be here for sure. We're going to have another try at our bonus treasure chest hunt, plus another exciting ding-dong dandy Bozo adventure. So I hope you're all set to go. In the meantime, I'll be able to get on my, my a beautiful trike here, my talking bozo trike. It's kind of, kind of happy to have it here. I'm kind of happy, and this way I can just ride around and have all kinds of fun. And I'll be seeing you. Hoopy doopy, boo boo, hoo boo boo, hoo doodly doopy boo. Whoops a daisy! I knew that I was supposed to be finding my special pal, Professor Tootin' Pooper. Have you seen him around, Professor Tootin' Pooper? There you are. I mean, Tweety Pooper. I never get your name straight, do I? <laughs> That's Tweety Poofa. Tweety Poofa. Well, yeah. you're doing all right juggling like that. Hey, how about a hand? Look at him juggle those balls. Terrific. <laughs> Whoa, he can always fun when you're around, Professor. One, two, oh. Oh, we look at him go there. How about a hand for him, boys and girls? There he is. I'd love to see you juggling those balls, but that's three balls. That's terrific, isn't it? Did you like it, Mr. Bozo? Uh, well, I just loved it. Woohoo! I, I could do four. Wait a minute, you can, it's hard enough to juggle three balls, because I've tried them. You can juggle four. Or two, three, let, four. Me, let me see you do. He's going to juggle four balls now. Let's see if he can do it. Oh, you're a famous juggler and magician. Tootin' <laughs> Well, you did four. Now, I suppose you can tell me you can do five now. Yes, I could do five. Uh, I could do six. I could do seven. I could, I could do nine. <laughs> <laughs> he says he can juggle nine. Do you think he can juggle nine balls like that? <laughs> now, come on. I know you're all playing tricky tricks on Bozo. I don't think you can. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Let me... Let's see. Now, let me count them. One, two, three, four, five... Six, seven, eight, nine. There are nine balls right there. Okay, let's go. Oh, ready? Boy, this is going to be fantabulous. No. Go ahead. No. 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 Oh, Professor, what, what are you doing? <laughs> Wowie, boy, you fooled me then. Look at how he's juggled at the three balls, and they were all tied together. <laughs> Hey, I just don't know how he does it. Well, I guess he doesn't need these balls, so I'll just throw them away a little bit, and that'll be all set, and that'll be kind of good. Wait a minute! Whoa! Who turned out the... You know who's visiting here at the Bozo Big Top today? One of my famous pals from Australia. He's here, and I know when he comes around, all my pals are kind of excited because he likes to do that famous boxing. So how about give him a nice Bozo welcome, my pal from Australia, Kooky Kangaroo! Whoa, E. Kooky, are you all set to do some boxing? Yes, sir, E. Bozo, I'm really going to do it today. Well, I know Kooky has been practicing and sparring, but there's just nobody that can that, that he can beat. Do you think you're going to win today? Oh, I sure. Whoop, a flock of them went over that time. Gee, Woo I wonder if there's anybody here in the circus that feels they can take a box. Okay, Mitch, come on over. Come on, Mitch. Let's go. We'll find out. Here's our pal. Well, hi, Mitch. You would like to box Kooky Kangaroo? Let me see your muscle, first of all, Mitch. Make a muscle for Bozo. Make a nice big muscle. Wow, we look at that. What should we call him? How about Mitch the Mauler? All right. Mitch the Mauler. All right, Mitch, come back over here and sit down on the stool. I'll give you your last minute instructions. Now, 
You know, Kooky, Kooky hasn't won. I mean, uh, uh, about yet. Do you think you'll be able to do it? I think you can. Well, I'll tell you what I'd like to do. We're going to put these boxing gloves on. Of course, you know, practicing the art of self-defense is all right, as long as you you do it under supervision at the school or at the Y or something like that. But you wouldn't fight in the street to do anything silly like that, would you? How about, first of all, shaking hands now. Shaking hands with Kooky. Okay, okay, Mitch, back to your corner. Watch out for his secret punch. That's his tail, so watch out for it. Because ready, here we go for round one. Go to it now. Go to it. Go ahead, Mitch. Go right in there. Go right in there. Go ahead. Go get him. Go get, go, go get him now. Go for that tail. Give him the old. Whoa. -wee. Go right in there, Mitch. Come on, right in there. Right over there. Okay. Wait a minute. I think you got it right on the schnoz. I think. Oh. Right over there. Wow. Oh! Stand back, Mitch. I think you got him. I think you got him there. There, there he goes. My nose. Oh. Hey. Hey. Oh. Hey. hey. The winner. Oh, thank you very much, Mitch, for helping out. You're a pretty good boxer, right? Kooky, you know, one of the things is there's just nobody here that, that, that you can beat. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. How come, how come all the time I just spar with the partners here? Maybe I could box with the kids at home. You mean the boys and girls at home That's watching right. on TV? That's right. I never thought of it that way. I'm going to try it. And this time, watch and see who wins. All right, now, you boys and girls at home, stand by, because Kooky would like to take you on right now. Okay, this is the first time on television. We'll see how I can do it. There he goes. He's, uh, I he's think getting his stance. Great. He's dancing around, dancing around the ring. And there he goes. Oh, Nelly, wait, whoa. Oh, Nelly. Wow, there he goes. Kooky. There's one thing about boxing, all right. It certainly has its ups and downs. <laughs> ups and downs, you get it? <laughs> I was just talking to my pal Gloria Goose here. was all dressed up. How are you, Gloria? How are you feeling today? Oh, Gloria, let go of Bozo's finger. Well, what's happening? Why are you all dressed up in the in the Hawaiian grass skirt and you got the Hawaiian lay and everything? What's, what's going on? Oh, Bozo, I am going to the South Sea. And I have to go down to the ship, and I want to make sure I catch the right ship. You're going on a trip, you mean, on a ship? A shippy trip. Oh, boy, that'll be good, a trip on a ship. Oh, that boy. Hey, can I come along, Butch and me and everybody? Oh, please do, and make sure you come to the big pier, and that you catch the right ship, honey. The right ship. All right, I'll make sure. I'll, I'll go right down, and I'll, I'll try and get on the right ship. I will. I will, Glory. Okay? You <laughs> cut that out. Cut that out, will you, Glory? I'll, be, I'll make sure to get on the right ship, all right? <laughs> cut that out. I Butchie boy, the circus is going overseas at once, and the ship sails from pier. Oops. 66. Come on, Butchie. And away we go. <laughs> We've shanghaied every swab in port, and we're still short two swabs. Oi, Captain! Are we in time, Colonel? Aye, aye, suckers! Uh, sailors! When do we set sail, General? Sail? Har, har, har! We done up, Danker! Oh, Nelly! Bozo, we're at sea! And looky! Yipes! A pirate ship! Butchie boy, we've been shanghai Mr. Captain, we demand to be put ashore at once. They demand to be put ashore at once. At once. At once. <laughs> we demand action. They demand action. Okay, action you got. Where your swabs go? Cross nest, hey! No, cut me it out! Aye, aye, matey! Nice catch, Captain! Good boys will run! I'll take some land lovers, some manners! Ah-ha! After you, Captain! Follow me, but you boy! Just surrounded. Come out or I'll fire. Oh. 
It don't mean a thing if you don't pull the string. I'll kill all you swabs. to play rough. I'll plug that cannon up. Stick him up, Mr. Pirate. Don't point that thing at me. It might be loaded. This is that funny face. My gag backfired! I'll blast that clown and clown to Adam! Did you lose this, mister? Yes, it's mine! Oops! I've been had! Head for the lifeboat, Butch! Oh, no you don't! Put him to work in the galley! Oh, yes, sir! Who's the cake for? I baked it for the captain's birthday. How about candles? Oh, candles. I forgot about candles. Try these candles. Oh, but thanks, Palsy. <laughs> Them ought to look keen on the captain's cake. The captain's sentimental life. He's going to get a bang out of this. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Captain. Gee, Bozo, your idea worked. We got away from the pirates. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> oh, hi! Bozo was just tuning up his special musical cowbell. Haven't you ever seen a cowbell? Well, this is a cowbell, and it makes this kind of a kind of noise. And whenever you want to call the cows home, this is what you do. Watch what happens. I'll just ring the bell, and, and my, my pal, uh, Elsie, will hear it. It works! It works! How about that? Now, that's a cow, and that's the sound of the bell. Now, not only does it bring my cows home, but it also makes beautiful music, and I have for you a special surprise here under the Bozo Big Top, my own cowbell band, and here they are now. Bring them in, Professor. <laughs> oh, don't they look terrific? Well, uh, hi there, cowbell band. You all look nice, all set up. I think the first thing we better do is tune up my cowbell band. So I tell you, I'll give you a note. <laughs> Hi, Does that music get to you? I mean, doesn't that music get to you in that terrific? I felt just like a big time conductor. Ding dong dandy. All right. Well, here we go now. Let's see. What song shall we play? Uh, let's see. Uh, you don't know. Uh, how about uh, for cow, a cowbell band, Home on the Range? <laughs> hey, that's pretty good. A cowbell band playing Home on the Range. All right, now, watch the conductor. You always have to watch my baton. Are right, ready? Here we go. Da, da, dee. Oh, 
Oh, that music is beautiful! <laughs> Thank you very much. Take a bow, band. Take a bow. <laughs> bow, band. Boy, they're so graceful when they bow, too, and their bells dingle, dangle, and everything. All right, I tell you what. Now, uh, since we have time, I thought as an encore, we'd try something that everybody loves. It's an old favorite of Bojo's and perhaps a favorite of yours. It's the F-sharp concerto in B-flat minor with two C socks on the end. Do you know that one? We've been rehearsing for 24 hours, and you don't know that? Well, I, I, I will try and just sort of fake it. <laughs> All right, ready? Here we go. Daddy. Wait, wait a minute now. Cut it out now. You know, you're playing the wrong note. You, you, you get the wrong oh, notes. Oh, hang on there. Right up the bucket. Yeah. 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 Oh, Nelly. Listen, do you hear that siren? That means it's time again for the Bozo Bonus Treasure Test Game. Look at that. A whole treasure chest of toys waiting for some lucky boy or girl. All right, let's get Butch right away. Where's Butch? 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 Oh, hi. Hi, Butch. Well, there he is. I didn't recognize you without your hat, but you're Butch. All right, now close your eyes real tight. And I want you to pick one of the numbers out of the hat. That's a good boy. That's all really going down for those numbers. There. It's number 60. Number 60. Oh, who's number 60 here in the circus? Oh, this boy right here. Hi. Hi, Bernie. How are you today? Boy, look at those eyes. Well, I tell you what, Bernie, do you see those treasure chest toys? Well, all those toys will go home with you if you can do our special treasure chest stunt. Bring in the, the glass and the spoons, Mr. Ringmaster, and I'll show it to Bernie. Stand right over here. Now, we have two spoons and one glass. In 30 seconds, I want you to hit this spoon so that that spoon falls in the glass. You can move the spoons or the glass any way you want. Okay? Ready? On your mark. Get set, go! All right, okay. Okay, I'll help you get it. I'll sit, I'll set him up. The, the big part, that's it, good. Oh, he's, he's pretty cool. Look at him go, he's getting very close. Watch this now. Well, he's taking his aim, he's not getting nervous or excited. A little harder, Bernie, just a teeny bit harder, and I think it'll plop right in. Oh, that's just dying to get in that glass. Try it again now. Oh, Bernie, that was the closest anyone has come so far. But even though you didn't get the spoon in the glass, don't feel too bad. We got a nice consolation prize for you, a brand new shenanigans game I know you'll have fun with. Thank you, Bernie, for being another treasure chest contestant. Well, I think what we better do, Mr. Ringmaster, as we do when nobody gets our bonus stunt, we keep adding toys into the treasure chest. Let's add a magnetic dollhouse where the people and all the furniture move around by magnets. We'll put that right next to the bozo track, and there it is. Next time, we'll have another try at a whole treasure chest of toys in Bozo's Treasure Chest. Whoa! Uh, okay, Flippy Flappy. Now, wait, stop flapping. He always flips his flapper when he's too tired to flip his flipper. Now, Flippy, don't do that. Listen, Flippy, I want to tell you something. I like to play a funny on Mr. Bozo. I want him to think that I am a great magician and I want him to think that I know everything and uh, <laughs> stop flipping and I want to hide this handkerchief I tell him to hide it and then I want him to think I know it and you gotta help me you have to give a sign you know like uh, like uh, why don't you scratch your head like this that means I know where it is that's I'm real okay I'm real close and don't let Oh, hi, Flip. Hi, uh, Professor. What? Oh, Flip is lazy as usual, I well, see. Well, he's a little sleepy. Yeah, I guess yeah. so. What's up? Be, uh, uh, you know, <clears throat> you know, Mr. Bozo, yes. I'm a great magician. I know that. That I know for sure. And can you see this? Yes. Well, what I, are you going to do with it? I can make it so that if you hide it and you could even blindfold me, I would find it. Now wait, let me get this. You mean I can hide it, say, like on any one of the boys or girls here? Over there, over there, over and, there. And you can find it? 
I can find it. Do you think he'll be able to find it? I just uh, all right. Okay, uh, let's try it. Okay. <laughs> Wait a minute. I want to make sure that you can't see. Can I have a bucket, please, Mr. Ignatius? He's, he's, oh, he's oh, good. good point. All right. Oh, you come right down over here now. I take off your top hat. Now I'm going to make sure that you can't see or anything. I know you and Flip like to play tricky tricks on Bozo. Now stay right there. Now I got to hide this in somewhere. <laughs> well, I got a good idea. <laughs> Put this right, right under, right under the yeah. Just put it right under behind you, okay? So we can't see it, okay? Uh, okay, uh, all right, Mr. Professor. Uh, I'd like to see if you can find it now. Go ahead. I just hit it somewhere here in the other big top circuit. What are you, working up into some kind of spell? Or... Okay, quickly, I want to try one more. I gotta just find this out now. You just get this. Oh. Okay, Professor, let's see you find it now. Let's see if you can find it nice and fast. Professor, let's see. Go ahead. I don't know. He'll never be able to find it now. I really tricked him this time. Something. <laughs> I just saw, come, come on, I just saw that you did make some kind of thing. Are you two playing a, a little funny on Bozo again? You shouldn't do that, you know that? All right. Well, look, I, I'll, I'll get even and I, I'll sort of try and make up. Okay, Flip, you can get up this way. I can say so long, everyone, and we'll see you next time for all kinds of exciting things. So until then, remember what your pal Bozo says always keep laughing. What are you doing now? Wait, wait, wait. I'm tangled up here. Wait.